This is likely going to come up somewhere, but I don't know where. It's clearly a three-digit thing. But which part of it is going to be important? Blue crystal test results conclusive. Need to supply keyboard with total electricity gathered from garden and docking station only disrupt the samples. Only the garden and the docking station. I think I'm wrong. That doesn't work. I gotta be wrong, yeah. The big place can't be the garden then, because this thing is a total of 36 and the garden has 34. So you can't add either of the other two things to the to the garden. I mean to the big place to make it to get to any number that's usable. You can't get to anything like that. So then it's gotta be the other ones to combine. So it's gotta be eleven. Right? Cause it's the it's the four and the seven. The first two places. So it's it's that amount of power. Why wouldn't he just write that though? Why is he write why is he writing riddles to himself? So if I'm doing eleven, one, two, three. Is there any reason not to just, like, max one of them out? No? It- the notes do usually talk about dividing them between the three of them. One, two, three... One, two, three... Four... One, two, three... Four... Nothing's happening. It's 443, it should be 11. Is there an existing note that indicates what's acceptable in a number? Do any of you add up to 11? 1, 2, 3, 8, 17. Oh. Not a good sign. Everything else has tens in it. Everything else is worth significantly more than eleven, so no. These numbers don't work either. Probably dealing with a different crystal altogether. Blue crystal test number 17. Number of lightning conductors need to power cable number 1 and definitively disrupt, disrupt molecular composition of sample 3. Still testing to find two remaining increments. Which one is that, though? That seems like... Uh, that's, uh, these are such frustratingly incomplete looking notes. I guess I can count them from the top. That's- that's one of the bars, but I don't know which bar it is. He says that all three codes are needed, but he doesn't know what the other two increments are yet. Let's see. So 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. So that one's set to 3. So all three need to be used, and that one in particular is set to 3. But I don't know which one it is necessarily. It might be the center one, because of how centered it looks. It looks perpendicular to its goal. That's quartz. So maybe this one has to be three. That one has to be three. Maybe the, uh, the other two have to be four, maybe? Oops. That's four, four, three. That'd be eleven. Maybe increase one and decrease the other one. Oh, that one would be that one even more. Hmm. 
No, no reaction. And this for the blue crystal. I think I need to make a trip back to the top. Oh wait, I have to... Oh yeah, that takes a little while. I'm gonna go all the way back to the lab, and I'm gonna see if I can find more notes that explain more about the blue crystal. Maybe help me explain what the hell's going on here. Oh. Hand gesture. You can move that? Is there other ones you can move? Oh no. Was that a- Oh no. Alright, well. Now I can photograph this. That barely makes sense, though. There was a tiny gear barely covering the far corner of the paper, so I couldn't fold it over? Even though I'm not moving it any- Like, I'm not even moving it all the way. The part I'm folding up isn't the part covered by this gear. Oh... Was it in the middle when I first found it, like, hours and hours and hours ago? And then I left it, like, right here instead of right here? Oh no, that's what was happening, huh? Like, it makes more sense at first. Although, really, the amount that's folding is, like, baffling compared to the location of the gear. So you put it right here. And that's why I couldn't move it. What in the world? Okay. That's silly. That's silly. Strong earthquake-like tremors in lab when two of the harmonies listed in musical chart were played. Could I be close to finding a usable frequency? Lab mostly rock. The musical chart? Is that the thing that has a bunch of numbers on it? Blue crystal. Total electricity gathered in garden and docking station only to disrupt the samples. How do you know... Even if it's those two numbers combined, how do you know how much to put in each row specifically? Is there another blue crystal note somewhere that explains more specifically? Because the other ones... You're often combining two details together. This is the rock. 20 units total for the rock. But the rock's not the one I'm trying to figure out right now. I can go test that next time I'm there. Just to see if I can figure out its number. But I was trying to figure out the blue crystal. Let's review this one, but I think I- I think I photographed this one too, so it should be one I already know, right? Yeah, this is the- this is the other blue crystal one. Number of lightning conductors lead to power cable number one and definitely disrupt molecular composition of sample three. Oh, power- power cable number one would be the one on the left. That's what they're- that's what these numbers mean. I was thinking of the cables that are feeding the power into the overall system, like before the breaker. But no, these are the number- it's probably which of the three cables, left or right. So the one on the left equals three. It's the, if the- if it's the one on the left equals three... But he's still testing to figure out what the other two are. I wish I could find his other documents. But they have to equal... It has to be equal to eleven. And the one on the left is three. I'll at least be more correct, because I was testing from the wrong spot. I might have to trial and error it a bit. Because I don't know where else I can find any more evidence. I don't know, I mean, if I know the left one's three, and the other ones are two numbers that equal... Uh, eight. Then it can't be that... Time-consuming to trial and error, I suppose. Gotta get back down there again. I think... Is it about to... Oh, right. It has to fill up the whole ring. I was like, I was like is the breaker gonna trip? Good thing you can skip cutscenes, or this would be incredibly time-consuming to keep coming back and forth. Um, 
I'm trying to resonate. Let's see. This one's three. One, two, three. Okay. The other two have to be equal to... Four. It's not working. You go down. Oop. You go down two. This interface is going to be an. Oh my goodness. How am I going to do this? It wants. If I'm correct about my idea of having to put in a bunch of codes under a time limit, how am I going to do this with how clunky and inconsistent this crap is? I can't even make it consistently stop on a spot. We're going up one. No. Oh. Does that is that me being correct or close? The other one like retracted, right? Yeah, so I need to be I need to be closer, right? There's something else to this. So one further? No. Maybe I'm off on my numbers a little bit or something? That made it cool down more, didn't it? Yeah, that's making it violent. Nope. Calm down. Oop, it's going in. Was I off by one? Somehow? That's number two. I'm going to try to count them as I retract them so I can tell which one's which. Because uh, I think I might have been wrong somehow. Okay, so that one's one. So it's three one. Just to be sure, we'll count this one on its way back. One, two, three. There's one, two, three, four, five, six remaining? Or is it seven? Is that a seventh one? I can't tell, man. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so the answer is three, one, seven. No amount of squinting will unblur those pixels. 317, that is a number equal to 11, so my th idea of what that means was correct. That's good. Okay. So we have code number 1, 2, and 4 figured out. We need, we need 3. 3 is this rock. We have two clues about the rock. One of the- one clue said it's equal to one of the musical things, and another clue said that it's equal to the number 20. Yeah, this is like one of the frequencies. Strong earthquake-like tremors in lab when two of the harmonies listed in the musical chart were played. What does that mean? Two of the harmonies? Does that just mean that two of them are close? Blue crystal. Um, I don't remember what this one was. This this must be quartz, right? Quartz. There's the harmonies. Is there? That's blue crystal. Rock. It has to be equal to twenty. That's all of them. Okay. Something that equals twenty. 
No, 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 no. For basically all of those. 10, 1, 6 is 17. 10, 6, 6 is 22. Nope. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Wait, are any of them... Do any of them equal 20? 1, 10, 5 is 16, but then all of those ones in the middle are 10, 10, which means they're 26, 24, 25, 25. The one above that is... Twenty two ten six six. Ten six six is the closest to twenty. So maybe I need to put in ten six six and it'll start vibrating and then I need to figure out how to make it vibrate correctly to hit that in a thing that actually does equal twenty, maybe. Ten. Oh, I missed it. I went ten six five, but it seems to make it vibrate more. So ten seven five. No, they made it chill. Damn it! Go in the right spot. Did that work? Why would 1066 work? It said that it had to be 20, I thought. There's 1066. But it has to be... That's the that's the other one. Where's the one about the number 20? Twenty units of power total. Where am I right now? How many units is this? One... Two... Three, four, five, six. Does ten five five not work? Wait, does ten does ten five five also work? Or does it not? Was that it just did it just rotate out of its slot just now? That's not working. Uh, where are the... Why does it have so much sliding power? Why doesn't it lock to the slots when you're sliding it? I can't tell where I am when I'm moving it. So that's correct. But how many units of power is that? One... Two... Three... Four... Five... Six... I can only tell by watching how many lights go in and out. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it's ten, six, six. All right, so six, twelve, four, three, one, seven, ten, six, six, twelve, twelve, twelve. I, uh, I'm confused. It says 20, no more, no less, like underlined. That's important and definitely true. But 1066 is not 20. That's 22. That's a different number. <laughs> I don't know, man. The important thing is I have I have four combinations written down that apparently caused this, the crystals to rotate 
uh, vibrate in the frequency that causes them to go into the ring so that you can then move on to the next one. So I think I now have to incorporate all of these combinations within a time limit as fast as I can, which I'm terrified of because this is kind of terrible. Like this interface is kind of terrible for being able to rapidly input combinations because you can't, there's no point of reference on the screen that tells you what any of the numbers are, so you can't really tell within a gradient of two where you are in the sequence, like where exactly in this is six, where exactly is nine, for example. And you have to do it in an awkward sliding scale, and you have to do it with, quickly in a time limit, and then you have to like quickly grasp this, it's gonna be, this, this might be a shit show. All right. Practice makes perfect, right? Like that damn color puzzle from Initiate that I loved so much. All right. Let's do six, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. I'm doing those first on purpose because the other digit is 12. So that's the easiest one to implement. All right, wish me luck. 12. I take that down to one. One, two, three. Did it not escape? Oh no, it escaped. Uh, one, two, three. No, what happened? No, it's good. Okay, uh, ten, one, two. That should be six. That's six. Is that good? No. Is that good? No. Shit. Ten, six, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. No. Are you not ten? One, two. Why aren't you ten six sixing? Is it five now? No. Why weren't go in, you little shit? Uh ten six six. What do you want? One, two. No. Oh, it's sliding into the wrong spot. You little bastard. Is it in? It's in. Uh, 12, 12, 12. Uh, no, I missed one. It just escaped. Uh, that was 317. So, uh, 1, 2, 3. 1. 1. Oh, it did it. Apparently. Jesus. Throw this notepad away. I did it, apparently. Get out of here, button. Oh, boy. Done with that. Okay. Wait, what? Oh. Whoa. That's screwing with my perspective. These were all the way over here? I thought they were part of the throne way over there. But they were really far away, and they're actually really big. And they're like 15- they're like 15 feet away. I thought they were part of the throne setup. Huh. Well, that screws with me. We did it. Um... All that did was make a path open? But isn't this path mechanical? How did... What? Why did this exist? I'm confused. Isn't this just a, just a bridge that he has complete control over because it's mechanically held together by chains? Why did he have to do this resonating... Why did why, this really complicated thing here? Did he do this as like a combination lock so nobody else could get in? But well, he wasn't expecting anyone else to come here, was he? I'm not sure what's going on. What are you? What does that do? Are all the weird people going to be lighting up now on the floor above us? Or did this one just light up? Is... Interesting problem. The inner matrix wants to hold on to an electrical buildup indefinitely. But it loses it as soon as the crystal touches a grounded object. 
So, how to keep the crystals isolated until I can use them? Something has happened. There is a structure in the spire that was not there nine days ago when I sailed off to harvest more crystals. Its existence is impossible. Yet I have stood inside its foyer and know that it is real. I'm forced to make an inconceivable deduction. Somehow, my father is still alive. I do not understand how this can be. Regardless, given the design of the chamber, and in particular its barred dividing wall, I suspect that our reunion will be tense. Fifteen years, still it is not enough for him. This age was nothing when I arrived. Nothing but floating rocks and debris. I am the one who made it livable, and I did so without help from any quarter. If I could have found just one single person to assist me. But no, he does not want to talk about accomplishments. All he wants to talk about are the books. Yes, I burned them, Father. I am sorry. Now, can we put the past aside and let me out of here? Another wasted evening playing repentant sinner in his linking chamber. I do not know why I even waste my time. It is obvious he will never be convinced. But what of Mother? Her endless hand-wringing is as maddening as ever, yet there must be some way I can use it. Perhaps if I play upon her guilt. Create a sculptural vignette which she can see inside their viewer. If I choose the appropriate memory, it should convince her that I, too, have my regrets. This is intolerable. If he did not intend to set me free, why create the chamber in the first place? To flaunt his all-powerful skill? I get it, Father. Really, I do. Everything I have accomplished here pales in comparison to what you can do with the art. It is the one power you have that I shall never defeat. No wonder you refuse to teach it to me. I will take this no longer. It is time I showed him some of my power. Father believes his chamber to be impenetrable, but he's forgotten the very laws he once explained to me. Frequency and molecular vibration. The crystals can do it. If I find the right frequency, their song can set off a vibration that will tear through the chamber on a molecular level. Those impenetrable walls will shatter like glass. No doubt I will need a great deal of electricity to do it. I'd better retune the musical instrument.